Black Eyed and Blues Show 101, 25 June 2013. And the winner of the Connecticut Blues Challenge is Brian Parker. Will give us an in-depth review of the Harry Connick Jr. Show this past weekend. And lots of great music, all starting now. This is the Hartford Online Radio Network. 21st Century Audio. Delivered. On the horn.com. Bandwidth for On The Horn is provided by Amazon S3 servers. Amazon S3 is storage over the internet. Retrieve any amount of data at any time from anywhere on the web. Highly scalable, reliable, secure, fast, and inexpensive. All from a name you trust, Amazon. For more information about Amazon S3 storage, visit aws.amazon.com. And now the host of the Black Eyed and Blues Music Show, it's Brian Lee. And I'll even turn on his microphone because I'm a hell of a guy. Thank you. Good <laughs> evening, everybody. My name is Brian T. Lee, and this is the Black Eyed and Blues Music Show. Black Eyed and Blues is sponsored by the accounting firm of Budwitzen Meyer Jack. Here it is, show 101. 101. Lots of stuff to talk about, but first let me introduce our producer <sighs> here at On the Horn, Mr. Brian Parker. Hey, that's me. So tell us about Harry Connick this weekend, buddy. So Harry Connick, so in, uh, in the town that's next to us, Simsbury, they have a really, really impressive... Uh, venue. It's outdoors. Okay. It's basically like a bunch of soccer fields is really how you should look at it, but it's big. And they have a very nice stage and the tractor trailer trucks pull up and big acts come through. We saw Harry Connick Jr. on uh, Saturday night there. Terrific show. Uh, he did some of the ones that you really want him to do, but most of it was stuff that I hadn't heard. Some so stuff of it- off the new... He's got a new disc out. That he's came got out like a, he's got ago, a new disc, so we put a lot up of there. Cool, and uh, and it was great, and uh, we we really liked it. I'll tell you this: some of my complaints, n- none of them had to do with Harry Connick Jr. All of them had to do with uh, other folks around him. Okay. Um, really, in particular, one guy whose name it, it's so inconsequential, I don't even know his name, but he was sort of like the guitar guy, and he came out and he was so. He had shtick to do yeah. like, you know, he would be jamming and well, and then like, you know, the rest of the band would stop and he would still be playing and, everyone, you know, it's supposed to be like, haha, funny that like, my gosh, he's just kind of going off on his own. And the shtick is that he runs over to one of the microphones and goes, come on, guys, what are you waiting for? And then he hits like the down note and ends the song with a big da-da kind of a thing. Yeah. But it was so like overdone that that shtick became like slapstick. And I, I didn't like it. Okay. Now, had like you it. had you seen Harry before or no? Oh yeah, yeah. Big fan. Uh, yeah, I'm a I'm a fan. Yeah, I mean, my sister. I was still in, I don't. I was still very young. I was in my teenage years when I got his first album, which was given to me by my sister. And uh, and as you know, I, I'm a I'm an amateur piano player. And I said, yeah, that's pretty much. Most guys want to play guitar for a living. This that's what I would want to do. That's nice. what I would want to do. Nice. And he's cool too. He's fun. He's entertaining. We've seen him a few times. I definitely consider myself a fan. So where is it now in Simsbury when they do these shows? And who do they, do they have anybody coming up? We may as well plug them if we can. Um I don't know if they have I'm sure they do. I don't know. Okay. Um but it's uh um right behind uh, where the Starbucks and Metro Beast is. Yes. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is a... Is it up on the hill? Kind of up on no, the hill? No, it's, it's, it's down below where the train tracks used to be. Um, okay. Doesn't matter. Okay. It's a, it, it's, it was built by Simsbury. That whole kind of strip there, uh, they put in uh, new casual retail places, flower <laughs> shops and that kind of stuff. It's not like... Casual. Yeah. Uh, but it's really it's very nice bugs were fine um i was there with my wife went to metro beast had a fantabulous dinner beforehand and uh one of the things i noticed was uh, one of the funny things was you know there's maybe i don't know 200 assigned seats that you pay a lot of money for okay and then there's um some lighting stuff and and all that right behind us and then behind that is sort of like the open field seating which you pay next to nothing for bring your own chair that sort of thing Uh, but right next to the field is a uh is you know the access road and then more lawn chairs where people are just listening to the same concert (laughs) for free without paying a penny without paying and it's not like you know what can you do it's public road you know what, what are you gonna do 
and it's open air so and it's open air <laughs> and it sounds great the lighting was um the was the lighting was great the sound was great the execution of lighting and sound were not so good yeah but was that the first show of the year or have they done others? I don't think that was the first show of the year. That would be kind of late if it was the first show of the year. Well, it's, it's, but, it, but it's a great place. But you know what I want to do? If folks have other venues like this, which is not like a huge amphitheater, you know, there's no like, you know, Budweiser outdoor extravaganza theater. You know, this is just, you know, Simsbury. I think it's called Simsbury Meadows. Okay. Which is just the name of the town and a bunch of fields. <laughs> if you guys have places like that that you want to kind of point out, uh, you know, we have listeners all over the, uh, well, certainly all, all over uh, the United States, the continental United States, mm -hmm. and all, some of them over the world. We're very big in uh, Afghanistan, apparently. I've noticed that. We got 15 downloads last week from yeah, Afghanistan. I, I was like, I'm oh, hoping that's true. Okay. But they could, you know what? That's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's probably troops. It probably is troops. <laughs> <laughs> or it's we're funny how really much you're just big in Afghanistan. Yeah, you know, you I can't, think that's you can't even get true. off the plane. It's ridiculous. Um, <laughs> So <laughs> we're huge with the Taliban. So tell us about your <laughs> your your little kind of local place that probably does a really great job, and that would be uh, that would be fun. I just want to know. And one last little quick thing: Did yeah. you watch uh, Nick Walenda walk across the Grand Canyon? Um, I did not watch it, but I also heard that it was not actually the Grand Canyon. Did I don't you know hear how that? It, I I did not. I don't know how it. It just seemed like it was such a short distance. But yeah, yeah. No, nothing all, to me seems short about making that kind all, of thing. All I know is that's a lot. More it's balls not. And brains, yeah, man. It's, I, I, I'm not making that one either way. It's not the so, distance of the walk. It's I'm, the depth of the fall. <laughs> exactly. Well, I listened to a, uh, an interview with uh, what's the kid on today's show? Uh, Willie Geist yesterday. And he yeah. said that even if he had fallen, he believed that in the in the end result, because he's an aerialist, he would have been able to catch himself. And they had two buckets one on either end of the rope and they think that he would have he said he would have been able to hold himself up for 30 minutes if he needed to what do you mean he had buckets there what was there mean? was a bucket on either end where they could have pulled out and gotten to him and got oh, so him out he would have he says so he if he caught fell the he could have caught the he rope says he would have caught the rope on. yeah he says he's done this for so long and he's so that, I, I believe that i actually do too i believe that so, i mean because he and has the and again, pole. your and your life is at stake. You're going to do anything that it takes to. Oh keep yeah, yourself he's going to have a death grip so, on that thing. For oh yeah. sure, for <laughs> but sure. It was interesting. Twenty five minutes of TV, but uh, I saw I'm, it on I'm Yahoo News. Heights. I am trying to find this for you guys, but I don't think uh, I'm going to be able to. No, they've taken it off. Maybe I can. I'll try to search for it and see what it actually was. Ah, uh, okay. We'll get right into some music then. This past Thursday, we had a band make their debut at Black Eyed Sally's. From Louisiana, we brought Curly Taylor and Zydeco Trouble. Not your normal Zydeco band. You're going to hear some stuff out of these guys in the next two songs I'm going to play for you. You are not used to hearing Zydeco bands sing. They covered James Brown. They covered Sam Cooke. Curly can sing his ass off. He is great. Um, they were as much fun as I've ever, ever, ever seen of a band at Sally's and the crowd was dancing all night long. It was so cool to see. Uh, hopefully we get him back really, really soon from his album. Number ones. This is Curly Taylor and Zydeco trouble with country girl. Lord, I can't begin to tell you what she mean to me. Well, she's everything I wanted. Above. And I know you understand what I'm talking about Is those pretty sexy ladies that we got way down south She's all fine, y'all Oh my, she's my country girl Say, but she's all fine Oh my, she's my country girl Oh, my, she's my country. 
She's all mine, oh, all mine. She's my country girl. This is the Hartford Online Radio Network. 21st Century Audio. Delivered. Elbowhorn.com. Fellas, before we get out of here, let's really mix breed this record up just to put it over the top. Why don't we mix this song, taking Southwest Louisiana to South Florida and come up with this groove right here? Man, let's make this hot. Ah, uh, you didn't know it's coming at you like that, huh? Trouble. You about ready to take this back to Louisiana?
Zydeco Worldwide. Curly Taylor and Zydeco Trouble. I told you guys are not, not like any other Zydeco band you've ever heard before. How about the Latin groove at the top of that track going right into the Zydeco thing? Hey, that was pretty good to hear your watch beep just then. That yeah. was awesome. Yeah. Stupid thing. <laughs> uh, we had some technical issues last week in our show, so we didn't we get did? started. Yeah, so we didn't get started until uh, a little bit later. Oh, yeah. So I like to be pretty fair. There were three people who were contestants last week. If they were listening when we would normally do the show for our Feed Our Friends contest, I decided to just let them have the shot again. Oh, okay. That was very nice of you. Yeah, I think so. So let me tell you about our Feed Our Friends program here at On the Horn. Well, Each then week, you go right ahead. Our Facebook friends have a chance to win $100 gift cards what? to Black Eyed Sally's second. in Hartford. Who told you that's what we're doing? Uh, you did. What? I, I said that? Yeah, you did. I mean, that's a lot of money. Oh, it's a ton of money. Oh, I like that. All you have to do is friend our Facebook fan fan book page, and you're in Facebook fan page, and you're in the running. What happens is each week at random, we draw three names from our Facebook friends list and post them on our fan page wall. The first to respond before the end of the show is the winner. One hundred dollars free from BlackoutSallies and Onahorn dot com. This week's contestants are Andrew Breskin, Diana Rouser, and Olga Elizabeth. Torres and yes, I went with it again. I Aletha went with Bell? it again. I did. I went with Elizabeth. Is that like Mahatha Bell? It is. It is like Jose Maria Olafable. <laughs> <laughs> is that how you say that? <laughs> the three of you have until the end of the show to respond to our Facebook fan page. Wall just post something for us. Good luck. And now back to the music. This past Friday night brought Diane Blue and Lisa Mann in with their band. Tremendous night of music. I actually stayed for. I was there from. A, Open to damn near close Friday night, and they were awesome. I hadn't seen Diane Blue last time she was in. She's a great singer. I already knew that. I had no idea how great a harmonica player she was. Uh, Lisa Mann had a reputation coming in as being one of the best bass players on the West Coast, and she really, really lived up to it. They were awesome. So from Lisa Mann's uh, album Satisfied, this is Gamblin' Virgin Mary. <laughs> She looked him over She kind of laughed 
And on the horn, we guarantee 60 minutes every hour. Or your money back. On the horn.com.
here for you right now. Alcohorn.com. That was Sugar Ray and the Blue Tones with Take It Easy from the album Don't Stand In My Way. If you missed Sugar Ray and the Blue Tones this past Saturday at Sally's, you can catch them on Sunday, June 30th at the Mm -hmm. Mystic Blues Festival, the Knickerbocker Cafe, Westerly, Rhode Island. Before that, you heard Diane Blue with Don't Stop. If you missed Diane, you can catch her this Friday, the 28th of June at the back page in Lowell, Mass. Very nice, very nice. Hey, I want to take a little time here to say hello to some of our friends online. We actually are doing the show uh, we're kind of simulcasting on Google Hangouts, and we have a good buddy Stephen Hawks that does He's his. A yeah, and and there he is. Okay, so we'll we'll keep the we'll keep that down. That was Mike Owen, who's a angry angry man who was beaten as a child. But uh, Stephen Hawks does actually a really fun uh, little. Is someone I don't really know if you call it a podcast. Just kind of a it's a Google Hangout. It's its own little thing called Beer and Cheerios. And it's a lot of fun. So let me see if Mike can be quiet for a second. We'll say hi to Stephen. Stephen, how are you? Are we allowed to uh, curse? Because we say a lot of stupid shit sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I would prefer if you didn't curse because it just means more post production work for me. Oh, okay. I apologize for the uh, shit. Really? Coming. I won't oh, say it again. Fuck that. All right. Well, <laughs> and and that'll be that discussion. <laughs> so that was fun. 
But anyway, hey, I was telling you about uh, the Nick Wallenda guy. Yes. Who didn't actually go over the Grand Canyon. Yes. The type rope walker. He actually went over Little Colorado Gorge, which is outside Grand Canyon National Park. Ah, okay. So, but I don't know. They needed to put the porta potty somewhere, and I guess this had a better spot for it. <laughs> so, yeah, Nick Wallenda. I mean, still a scary feat, but. I wouldn't have done it. I don't care what you got out there. I'm not yeah, doing it. Yeah, definitely not. Definitely not. <laughs> All right, what's and up we, next? We buddy? wouldn't have needed a porta potty anyway because I'd have peed myself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, exactly. And now we're going to get into a little bit of music from this past weekend's Connecticut Blues Challenge. The finals were this past Saturday. So I've got music from almost everybody. So we're going to start it out with Junior Kraus and the Shakes. This is Box of Letters from Blue State Blues. <laughs> Disgusted. I'm gonna buy me some whiskey and wine. I'm so damn disgusted. I'm gonna buy me some whiskey and wine. I'm gonna track you down, baby. Online Radio Network on the horn. On the horn.com. Woke up this morning about a quarter to four. I can hear you yelling right through my own front door. Honey, you. 
fresh, organic, and homegrown. On the horn. On the horn.com. <laughs> And you think you're my wife You tell me that you love me Then you roll them big brown eyes And I saw you last week Yes, your eyes were turning black Go find God to beat you Ask him to take you back Don't roll those bloodshot eyes at me I can tell you've been out on a spree Bloodshot Eyes, Mystic Horns. Are they from Mystic, Connecticut? They certainly are. I love them. Love them. Love them, and I love Mystic, Connecticut. So do I. Uh, But you know what I don't love? I don't love Mystic Pizza. That's overrated. No, no, not overrated. It's almost inedible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, people know the movie names, so they automatically... I have to imagine they've sold out or something, and now it's just some... The minute they shot the movie, I would have given that thing to the first buyer who wanted it. Here you yeah. go. It's all yours. Yeah, good luck with it. Yeah, ter- <laughs> terrible pizza, which is really too bad, because it's a nice little spot, too. Oh, it doesn't get much better Right there that. in the center. Uh, Alan James was before that with You the Loudest Thing. Yeah, cool crazy thing, song, huh? Cool thing about Alan James. Alan James showed up at the the very first night of the Blues Challenge. He was supposed to be the first guy on. Yeah. Two days before the Blues Challenge, his bass player and drummer moved to Phoenix. He didn't want to screw up. The scheduling of it, because he was the first band. It's a 25 minute set you play. He didn't want to screw up the scheduling on anything and said, you know what? I'll just do the 25 minutes by myself. Really? 
our sound guy Tom is a bass player. Yeah. And he's always got his bass with him. Yeah. So he says, "Well, I can play bass for you if you don't mind." And Peter, the drummer from the Mighty Soul Drivers and River City Slim and the Zydeco Hogs, was emceeing that night. And he said, well, if Tom's going to play bass for you, I'll play drums. They made it to the finals. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. With a Connecticut Blues Challenge. Together. Yep. Complete throw together. Hey, what, what, what do they win? They win money? They win $2,000 to go to Memphis with. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so, but so now that these two fill ins, are they going to go with him? Uh, they didn't win the final. Oh, okay. They yeah, they made the it final. to the finals. They didn't win the finals. Okay. So, but it's it's just a really cool story because he had nothing. He was I just wonder like, what I don't want to screw things up. I think he might have had to find another bass player because I don't know that Tom could have gone with him. Yeah. Because he's our, he's our sound guy, but he gigs constantly. He's already, like, booked. So you guys so, have a sound guy, and then you, you, you have two sound guys. We do. And you just sat there and laughed at me as we got all this equipment in, and I'm pulling my hair out, aging by leaps and bounds, trying to figure out how to book all this stuff up. You got two sound guys that work at Black Eyed Sally's. You those guys, those guys don't do any of the stuff, any of the hooking up. They hook up the bands. They'll if you wanted to put a, a guitar in here, they could do that for you. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> that's really well, all. So that's they what stick, they, do. they stick things into holes. Pretty much. Hey, hey. But they make it sound good. Hey, too. hey. It isn't just that. It's making it sound good. All right. And if you haven't seen what it sounds like on one of the live nights, you got to come down and hear it because it's good stuff. Yeah. So those were the. Those were the days. Those were the appetizer. So now we're going to give you the winner. The winner. The winner this year. Yes. For the Connecticut Blues Challenge. Yes. Was. Yes. Danny Dreyer. I love him. This is from Danny's album, Big Fun Tonight. Title track, big fun tonight, Danny Dreyer. Enjoy. Congratulations, Danny. Do what we want. 
is Connecticut Blue Society winner Danny Dreyer and his song Big Fun tonight. Do me a favor, check him out on iTunes. Congratulations and good luck down in Memphis. Let's go and check out the Black Eyed News with Brian Lee. Yes, time for the Black Eyed News is right. Let's do it. I am sad to announce the passing of one of the best singers ever. Bobby Blue Bland. Bobby passed away Sunday due to complications from an ongoing illness mm. at his Memphis, Tennessee home. Uh, Bland was born in 1930 in Rosemark, Tennessee, outside, was right outside 30, of Memphis. 83 years old he was? Yep. Wow. He began his career singing with a gospel group before joining the blues group The Beale Streeters, which included future stars such as B.B. King and Junior Parker. He played with B.B. a ton. If, you, if you've never heard of him, Brian, he's, he's one of the best singers you will ever, ever hear. Uh, Bland was inducted in, or drafted into the Army in 1952. After his release from service in 1954, he resumed his musical career as a solo act and established a long-term professional relationship with Duke Records. Soon he had hits racing up the R&B charts, including I Pity the Fool and That's the Way Love Is. Bland often toured with his former bandmate, B.B. King, and King was on hand to help induct him into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1992. Oh, nice. Bobby Bland was 83. Oh, there it is. Yeah, 83. As I mentioned right before we started the show, a uh, friend of this show, Chris Bergson, is recording his very first live album tonight and tomorrow night in New York City at the Jazz Standard. Uh, he's got a great band. Live he's, audience? Uh, yes, absolutely. Wow. Um, Jay Collins from Greg Allman's band is going to be the band leader and uh, leading the horn section. I think he had a five-piece horn section playing with him. So it is at the Jazz Standard tonight, June 25th, tomorrow, June 26th. The sets are at 7.30 and 9.30. It's a $20 cover, no minimum. So if you're listening live tonight, you have like 45 minutes to get down there. To get to the York. second set. Yeah. So, and he'll play for probably an hour and a half, two hours. So, the first up interview that we did every week, I like to find interviews because I love, I love to, I like the creative process. So, the I would first like of the us two, to get more interviews. Sure, that like, would be fun. Like phone in interviews. Yeah. Sure. I mean, we have this whole rig now. Why don't we just use it? I think it's, I think it's going to be a lot easier doing the show, the uh, black eyed and breakfast that we're looking at. <laughs> black eyed and breakfast. It's black eyed and breakfast. Black eyed and breakfast. <laughs> Uh, the first interview that I found this week was in uh, Blues Blast, which is something I pull from almost every single week. It's with a uh, guitarist, Junior Watson, who talks about recording his last CD and the 45 RPM disc that changed his life. It's a long interview and is really, really worth the read. It's in Blues Blast. The link to it will be what in is tomorrow's the, What's the up. CD? You're going to tease us? You're I'm not going to tease you. You're going to have to do some oh, homework. God. You're going to have to do some homework on that this one. That means you got to go. You got to yeah. You got to hop on our website. Oh, yeah. You're going to have to it's do like some homework. It's the third homework. or fourth story. You got to oh, bluesblast.com slash archive blues blast slash. Oh, don't worry. Just click on the link tomorrow. The second interview was with pedal steel player Robert Randolph from Robert Randolph and the family band. His new album talks about that, talks about uh, what he likes to write about. He's a very positive dude. Um, doesn't doesn't really like to. Be, he doesn't do the typical. No. My baby left me and so did my no, dog. No, no. He's really upbeat. Most of his stuff is really, really like party type music. So it's pretty cool stuff. Nice. Uh, our friends Bronze Radio Returns, new CD, Up, On, and Over, was released today on iTunes. You wow. should probably run out and buy about 100 copies of that. That'd be great. And then tell me you heard it here? Yes, absolutely. And they know that you heard it here because, you know, we play them all the time. The last piece I have, and uh, Dave, pull a microphone up for this one, too. Oh dear! This is this you is. I think I want to know fun. what microphone that is. This, this is the is, first time. <laughs> all right. One of my friends sent me this piece about the twenty worst bands of all time. Yeah. I don't know how many people have ever heard of a lot of these bands, and then a couple of these bands clearly do not belong on this list. So let's go quick. Uh, Spin Doctors. Any issues with Spin Doctors? No, love the Spin Doctors. Absolutely. Spin Doctors. Yep. You have an issue, or no, you like? I. I I think that they're an all right band. I don't. I wouldn't put them on the twenty worst. Yeah, this is the worst bands of all time. Really, Spin Doc, Two Princes. You got an issue with Two Princes people? Who made this list? Uh, the Raconteurs. Do either of you know who the Raconteurs are? Nope. Yes. It's an offshoot of one. It's one of Jack White's projects. I, no, I give thumbs up. I, I think they're great. Yeah, I do. I love that album. Uh, Oasis. Wow. Okay. Um. <laughs> a band that was compared to the Beatles. One of the worst bands of all time. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if I would compare it to the Beatles. No, they were. I don't, they I don't were at have, the time. I don't. Um, I don't have a problem with them. Yeah, 
Right. I mean, if you're that famous, I'm probably not going to have a big problem with you. I mean, same. Same. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Fish. What? <laughs> fish. Fish. It's like you fish. know, it's the grandchild of the Grateful Dead. You have to like them. Fish. They used like, you know. A vacuum. Yeah, I they was going to say electric vacuum. vacuum on stage. And like, come on, really? Next up, four non-blondes. Eh, okay. I mean, I didn't really like the music that much. I'm wrecking its song. But, but for that genre, but how that's about fine. You have more than one disc before you put them on the worst bands of all time list. Yeah. They only had one CD. Linda Perry writes a lot of music and gives it to a lot of other people. But it's not Linda Perry who's on this. It's four non-blondes. Okay. How about Pretty Ricky? Have you ever heard of him? No, I've never heard of Pretty. Neither Ricky. have I. Okay, well, even there when you they go. gave a description of him, I hadn't heard of him. Well, you know, okay, Foreigner, Foreigner, <laughs> Foreigner. <laughs> the longest right. album of all time, I'm I think, is Foreigner's all greatest all right, hits. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna agree with them. They're one of the worst bands of all no. time. <laughs> Jukebox Hero is one of the fun songs that you can rock to. Cold okay. as ice. That's great. They've got tons of stuff. Yeah. Wings. What? Wings is on no the list. No way. Wings. Paul I, McCartney I, I, I and Wings. Can see, I can see how they would say that, though. It's sort of like their their hype is more is better than their music. But the worst? Yeah, I don't know. The worst? I, mean, I don't know what rubric they're using. <laughs> I can see why they would say that, but I don't really know. Fleet Foxes. <laughs> <What else? Yeah. laughs> exactly. You have to matter to be the worst. <laughs> I mean, yeah. We have to you know say, who you are. Yeah, I was in a, I was in a college band called Soup Rocks of Funkamania. Does you that make the a, worst you list? You guys aren't on the list. We're not even on the. We You're are not, not on the list. The, we're better than than that. Better chili than peppers. Wings? Oh no, chili what? peppers is one of my favorites. Chili peppers. Get the heck Come on. out of yes. here. The Pussycat Dolls. That's not even a band. <laughs> yeah. Rush. What? Who was just inducted I, into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Okay, here's though. You know what? I don't like Rush. Sure. I like them. I don't even remember what the, what, what was the big Tom album. Sawyer. No, what was the, the big the album? Was Moving Pictures? No, there was another big album that came out when I was in high school. That was like like ninety two or something like that. When you were in high school, it would have been the one with the dog sniffing the fire hydrant. That one, boy, I don't remember. But there was one, I believe, and so. I was like, yeah, yeah, this is great, this is great. And then I listened to you know not just those three songs, and I listened to the other ones, and I yeah. was like, it's the same song with different words. It's the same song with different words. You could say that about the Rolling Stones. You could. <laughs> you could. <laughs> Now, Put them the, on the list. The thing about Here, Rush is that they're like the successors to Led Zeppelin. Well, they they were like the 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 head of the prog movement that people actually accepted. Right. Because there's so much so much prog out there that nobody listens to, and that's a crying shame because it's great musicianship. Uh, Hootie and the Blowfish. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why they're on the list. I like Hootie and the Blowfish because it's fun. It's upbeat. It's just exactly. kind of like whatever. It's really like uh, you know I'm I, I I Hootie and the Blowfish is you're out on the uh, you know, you're at someone's beach house. Absolutely, you're chilling out, play a little volleyball. Yeah, you yeah. know, you're drinking a, a yeah. you know, so, you're drinking Coronas or or you know, or whoever wants to sponsor us or whoever else <laughs> wants to sponsor us. <laughs> what was that? Like uh, Blue Moon? Was that it? Sure. If they want to sponsor us, blue yes, we'll beer. say Blue Moon. <laughs> you're drinking a little Blue Moon beer. Pearl Next. Jam. Pearl Jam. What? Pearl Jam. Wow. On the list. Uh, Pearl Jam. No. Way. No. I mean, you know, it looks like. Kelly Clarkson gets on this list. I don't really understand what the... Black Eyed Peas. No. What? No. no. <laughs> okay. Here's a couple that I have no idea how they're on here because I don't know why they matter. Animal Collective. Never heard of them. Nope. Okay. Sex Pistols. Really? Oh, Sex Pistols yeah. are fun. Exactly. They were the first punk band that really were they? Were they? Were, I, made over. a splash. They were uh, in the they late were, 80s? They were in yeah. the early 90s. Uh, they were actually that. before 70s, that. I think. So I think oh, really? 70s, well, there yeah. was when I got exposed to them. It was the late 80s. Late, but late they were number four into the early overall on this list. They're number four. Really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, here's another one I don't understand because I don't understand why they're on the list. LCD Sound System. Uh, Ever heard of them? I, a long time ago. I don't know. Who yeah. Dave Moore has a problem with this one because I mentioned it to him earlier. The Eagles. No Number way. two on the list. The no. Eagles. I, I I second their um, appearance on that list. Do I, you really? I hate you hate the them? Eagles. I hate the Eagles. Dave Matthews Band was the big winner, <laughs> or big loser, or big loser, if you will. I, I really? Yeah, Dave Matthews Band. I I can honestly say, having seen Dave and the worst guitarist ever, bunch of Eric times, Clapton. Man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that makes no sense. I, I don't know where Kiss is on this list because 
they've gotten over for a lot Kiss of years. Kiss could be. I mean, Kiss was. They sort of started off like you know being all serious, but then they 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 jumped the shark. They realized they jumped the shark. Then they just started kind of making fun of themselves they, yeah, and sort of came back and they're and now I love them again. They're you know? caricatures almost. They yeah. were like Spinal Tap for real. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> they went movie. through a bunch of drummers too. <laughs> <laughs> Ario Speedwagon. How are they not on this list? My God. Yeah. No, I'm, uh, I'm down with that. And Brian Brian McDonald's gonna hate me when I say this. And it's Jackson Brown, dude. How is that guy not on this list? Oh, it's maybe he's on a band. Tedious. Oh no, because they have Hootie. If you got Hootie, you're gonna have them. But Hootie and the Blow. Nobody like, knows who the Blowfish are. They know Hootie. <laughs> okay. You know Hootie. That's it. I, I don't know. This twenty list pisses me off. Yeah. <laughs> Darn it. I like said. I like lists because they're fun to talk about and they're fun sure. in the, you know in, for stuff like this. But what was their rubric? How did they make that determination? Because no it idea. certainly wouldn't it be record like it's sales just, for seventy five to eighty. It sounds like it's just personal opinion. Wow. <laughs> that would make sense. Yeah. All so right. we, get, we got we got four tunes left to play. We're gonna rip through this really fast for love, you folks. I love this next tune, by the way. Bella's Boogie. Love this next tune. Doug Deming and the Jewel Tunes. Here you go, Bella's Boogie. <laughs> Guarantee 60 minutes every hour or your money back. Well, if you ever been down to New Orleans, you can understand just what I mean. 
All through the week they's quiet as a mouse But on the Saturday night they go from house to house You don't have to pay the usual admission If you a cook or a waiter or a good musician If you happen to be just passing by Stopping at the Saturday night fish fry It was rocking It was rocking You never see such cuffing and shoving Till the break of dawn It was rocking It was rocking Never see such coming and shoving to the break of dawn. Well, my buddy and me, we was on the main still, fooling around, just me and him. But we decided we could use a little something to eat. So we went to a house on Rampont Street. But knocked on the door and it opened with ease. A lush little miss said, come in, please. Before we could even bat an eye, was right in the middle of a big fish fry. It was rocking. It was rocking. Never seen such coming and shoving till the break of dawn. It was rocking. It was rocking. Never seen such coming and shoving till the break of dawn. Now those peoples was having the time of their lives. Sam was jiving Jimmy's wife. And way in the corner was a beat up grand being played by a big fat piano man. Well, some of them chicks wore expensive frocks. Some of them had on bobby socks. But everybody was nice and high at this particular Saturday night fish fry. It was rocking. It was rocking. You never see such scuffing and shoving till the break of dawn. It was rocking. It was rocking. You never see such scuffing and shoving till the break of dawn. Now my buddy and me, we fell right in. We hollered. Let the joy begin. We figured this was a good place to play. The party was already underway. But all of a sudden, the lights went low. Everybody made straight for the front door. Man, I'm so scared I didn't know where to go. Well, I stood right there and fell on the floor. It was rocking. It was rocking. You never seen such scuffing and shoving till the break of dawn. It was rocking. It was rocking. Never seen such scuffing and shoving till the break of dawn. Well, those peoples was running and jumping and yelling. The bottles was flying and the fish was smelling. Way above all the noise they made, somebody said, better get out of here. This is the rain. I didn't know I was breaking the law. Somebody reached up and hit me on the jaw. They had us blocked off from the front to the back and they thrown us in the wagon like potato sacks. It was rocking. It was rocking. You never seen such scuffing and shoving till the break of dawn. It was rocking. It was rocking. You never seen such scuffing and shoving till the break of dawn. I knew I could get away if I had a chance, but I was shaking like I had a St. Vinus dance. I tried to crawl under a bathtub. The policeman said, hey, where you going there, bub? They round us all up like a house of fire. Load us all in that black Mariah. They might have missed a pitiful few, but they got poor me and my buddy too. It was rocking. It was rocking. You never seen such coming and shoving till the break of dawn. It was rocking. It was rocking. You never seen such coming and shoving till the break of dawn. Well, they took us to jail in a dazed condition. They booked each one of us on suspicion. My chick came down and wept my bail. Finally got me out of that rotten jail. Now, if you ever want to get a fist in your eye, just you mention a Saturday night fish fry. I don't care how many fish in the sea, but don't you ever mention fish to me. It was rocking. It was rocking. You never see such scuffing and shoving till the break of dawn. It was rocking, it was rocking. You never see such scuffing and shoving till the break of dawn. Seventy do ba ba bo ba. I like that. We've played him before, Dennis we Grueling. Have. Dennis Grunling. Grunling. The song is Saturday Night Fish Fry. The album is Rocking All Night. That's fun. Dennis is playing with the last guy you just heard, Doug Deming. Same night, June 20, not June 28th. Uh, what do I have here? I don't know. What do you have? Oh, my God. June I can't 20th? Even read my own. July 20th. July, July 20th. July 20th. 
So we just got something into our chat room. They want to know how you're enjoying Pinterest. I don't know what to do on Pinterest. I've joined. Yeah. I have a lot of followers. I've done nothing. I've you done need, nothing. You need to start pinning things on your wall. I know, but I don't know. A, I don't know where the wall is. Two, what am I pinning? Like, Recipes, <laughs> music that you like, dress patterns that you're going to make, maybe a new kimono. Who knows? <laughs> 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 it could be fine yeah who knows it could be fine i don't really know what to do with it quite honestly and i keep getting these things where's my phone is my phone over here yeah all right um i keep getting these things um that people are following me and i just don't know i don't know what, what like Send them a note back and say, stop it. No. I don't know what I'm doing. No, I'm not going to say that, but it's just like, I, look, I just got two more. <laughs> For so, the love but of I don't God, know what, can like, somebody teach But like, I'm having like thing? anxiety because I'm like, oh my God. Look, I mean, I literally just joined yep. like a day or two ago. I've done nothing. You can see my board. I'll show it to you guys. You can't really see it with the glare, but there's nothing on it. It says create a board and then secret boards. Secret boards. There's secret boards, and there's nothing there. Boards. I have. Um, I hit something. Where, how do I go back to that? Okay. You don't even know how to go back on it. You are in trouble. I don't know. What, I don't know. I have like <laughs> I have like 50 people following me, and I'm like I but I, like I feel bad. Like they're following me. They're probably I have this like like thought that like they're sitting there waiting for me to do something, and like they can't get on with their life. Unless I pin something. I'm like, I don't know what to pin. Let's. Can I pin something? Sure. How do I pin something? I have no idea. I've Fetch notifications. It. I don't know what that means. It's, oh, it just means that more people are following me. Oh, God, stress. Great. So, Ajita. wait. Okay, so let's see. What's this? Um, okay, here's a blanket that has a stag on it. I'll pin it. You going to make one of those? Nice. Oh, do I have to make it? Yes. It's a deer throw. Yes. Oh, well, then I don't want to pin that. I'm yeah, no, no. That. You got to make it. Too late. No, I didn't pin it yet. You can't go unlike. I didn't. That isn't nice. I don't. Uh, now one of your followers uh, is heartbroken and crushed. You mustache can't do this. No, I'll, no mustache cookies. I'll pin the mustache cookies. I like these look. These look yummy and sexy. Okay, so I'm done pinning. Pick a board. Oh, God. I don't know. I don't, I create a board. Uh title of the board oh my god there's just stress here see see what well, um by the way we just got one more thing in it yummy says eats i'm following you parker who's that <laughs> someone in the chat room oh god okay <laughs> this is my yummy eats board yummy Descript eats. description um this is yummy eat these eat this <laughs> eat is... this <laughs> eat this and the category is oh god there's a lot of categories. Too Food and questions. drink. Food and drink. Okay. Secret? No, I don't want to do it. Create the board. And then I've pinned mustache cookie cutter. Whew. That was terrifying. <sighs> that was terrifying. Now, I don't know what, what happens now. It blows up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end. So someone else just followed me. I don't know who that is. Me either. Okay. You'll find out soon enough. I'll tell you that. Andrea... Andrea Macadu, Macadu. Uh, before we play the last song, did we get anybody winning our uh, feed our friends contest this week? No. Nobody wanted a hundred bucks. Nobody. Let's take it. We'll go out drinking this weekend. The hell with it. Sweet. I am a bachelor this weekend. Huh? So Maybe you know you have we'll to come do. see Mike Law. Hey, you know what we can do? Tell a everybody. Live remote. No. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea how heavy this equipment is. Um, we actually, I probably could bring a laptop and do like a, uh, like a, a hangout there. Um, no. I will come and maybe I'll give away some gift cards at the venue. Wow. See what we can do about that. Who's going to be there? Mike Law and the Playboys. Are they good? Mike's awesome. Did we play them? Mike Law sounds familiar, but I don't uh, remember the Playboys. No, Mike Law doesn't have anything recorded that we have yet. Cal David and the, oh, Cal David is a big fan Cal's, of ours. Cal's Friday. He's a fan of us, though, right? He absolutely is. So he was, he was time... the first interview we did. Oh, I'll probably have to meet him then. Yes. He's awesome. Um, what? Uh, okay, what time does he go on? Nine o'clock. I know. You know what we should probably do? Let's play a song of Cal David, and then we can talk about the rest of the rundown. I like it. 
What do you think about that idea? We'll do it right now from Cal David and the Real Deal. Here is I Idolize You.
Here's this week's rundown. Tuesday, June 25th, Mike Palin's Other Orchestra. Wednesday, June 26th, Blues Open Mike. This week hosted by Tim McDonald. Friday, June 28th, Cal David and The Real Deal. Saturday, June 29th, Mike Law and the Playboys. I'm going to both of those shows. Just saying. Just saying. Well, you're all bachelor up this weekend. I'll have $100 so. gift cards for people that say hi to me. I'm just saying. I am not afraid to buy friends. I'm not saying. Wow. Just, okay. Maybe you can uh, put it up on your Pinterest board. <laughs> Monday, <laughs> I don't know how to. Monday, July 1st, Monday Night Jazz. That's it for me this week. Hope to see you down at Sally's. But if not, please continue to support live music wherever you are. See you next week. <laughs>